All right, take a look at your neighborhood forecast for this evening. We have more rain on the way, so in case you didn't get any today, there are more chances coming up here over the next uh, few days. But if you have weekend plans, looks like the rain is going to move out by that point. So we'll get a little bit of both. Some nice weather for the weekend and also some much needed rain across our area. We are tracking some showers, though, trying to make their way northward. This is what's leaving Cecil County right now. And most of this tracking north of 273 as it moves across the border into uh, parts of southern Pennsylvania here. But we are looking at some more rain developing to our south. We're going to keep an eye on this. This doesn't look nearly as impressive as it did even an hour ago, but stretching from parts of Montgomery County uh, through sections of Prince George's and also into central Anne Arundel County as it makes its way slowly northward. So perhaps if you live up around Pasadena and Glen Burnie, you're going to be seeing some rain here in about another half hour as it moves northward. Uh, heavier rain, though, across parts of the lower eastern shore. This is Dorchester County down into Wicomico County. This is going to spread northward here, so you're going to see a gradual increase in the coverage of rain through southern Talbot, southern parts of Caroline County, probably by 7, 730 here for this evening. And last but not least, we're tracking some rain moving out of western Maryland, so getting into western Washington County, parts of Allegheny County. This may to try to sneak eastward over the next couple of hours towards Frederick as well as Carroll County. So we'll keep an eye on that. Areas, though, that have seen a little bit of uh, sunshine or at least some breaks in the clouds have recovered back in the lower 80s. We're at 81 here at the Inner Harbor, but everybody else, though, still running into the mid to upper 70s. So we cool off a little bit with some of that rain through the afternoon. Elkton right now, the cool spot at 74 degrees, also 73 out towards Cumberland where it is raining right now. Now we've got a warm front that's just off to our south. This front combined with weak disturbances in the upper atmosphere. They're going to be moving their way across the region over the next couple of days will be act as triggers to stir things up and get showers and storms going and looks like tonight into tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon. We're going to be in between the two, so we're going to be dry for tomorrow morning. Just cloudy dry into tomorrow afternoon. Then here comes the next wave. It's going to come in late Tuesday, so most of the rain will be during the evening hours on Tuesday and Tuesday night, and then here comes another wave on Wednesday. We've got one final one coming through on Thursday. They'll give us some opportunities for rain and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday right now looking dry. Hourly forecast tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. Temps topping out near 90 degrees. Here's your forecast for Annapolis tomorrow. We're expecting dry for most of the day and then rain coming in later in the evening. The rest of Anne Arundel County looking at temperatures around 88 for Lothian tomorrow, Davidsonville, Edgewater, and Shadyside into the mid to upper 80s. All right, here's your first alert 7 day forecast. We're going to go with a high around 90 tomorrow. The rain's going to come in later in the day tomorrow, so towards sunset, a little bit after that, chances for showers and storms to be on the increase. Off and on showers expected here for uh, Wednesday, especially south of Baltimore, and then more opportunities for showers and storms for Thursday before we start to dry out with lower humidity Friday into the weekend. We'll be right back.